This is a Thousand Trail special report. Stay tuned for breaking news on 10 new Thousand Trails Trails Collection properties. This is our personal camping map. I created a camping map on Google Maps and personalized it. I have all the trails collection and uh, 1,000 trails properties as well as other camping locations on my personal camping map. And I plotted all 10 of these new trails collection properties on the map. I'm going to take you to them. The first stop we're going to make is in North Carolina, Topsail Sound RV Park. And as you can see here, it's not far at all from the barrier islands out here. And this is gorgeous, uh, Emerald Keller water. And when you drill down into this specific RV park, let's go to the Google satellite image on Google Maps. This is what the park looks like. That is a pretty sweet looking park. And when you blow this out a little bit, You are not far at all from access to uh, Surf City and these public beaches. Several different public beaches along here. So this is a real interesting prospect. If you're a member of Thousand Trails and have the Trails Collection or Trails Collection Plus, Melody and I have the Trails Collection Plus. We are adventure members. But this is this is my top pick for these. 10 new out of the 10 new trails collection properties i really want to go check out top sale sound rd park so the next park we're going to go to is not far away it's also in north carolina and it's harbor point rv community recently added to the trails collection and let's go look at the google maps satellite view for this park as well. Uh, as you can see, this is a very large park. So that is another outstanding addition to the Thousand Trails Trails collection. Both in North Carolina with easy access to the beach. The next place we're gonna go to is the King Nummy Trail Campground in New Jersey. And this is on the Cape May Peninsula. You see Cape May right here. Let's blow this out a little bit more. Here's Delaware Bay. And with easy access to Cape May, which is a really interesting place, as well as Wildwood these other beaches along here on the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, King Nubby Trail Campground. Let's go check out the satellite view there. And this is a pretty interesting looking park. There is another new addition to the trails collection right next door, Acorn Campground. I, I was a little bit less impressed with that. Uh, so we'll skip the satellite view. But next, we are going to go to Texas. And there were several additions to the trails collection in Texas. Next is going to be Leisure World. And this is a very popular snowbird destination. West Laco, Texas. Melody and I have been down here before. We've stayed at several Encore resorts that are Trails Collection properties. Uh, we really like Victoria Palms RV Resort. That's the top resort out of all the Trails Collection properties, in our opinion. But uh, not far away, they've just added two, they being Thousand Trails, have added two properties, Trails and RV Resort, and right next to it, Leisure World. 
Again, our top pick for the area is Victoria Palms RV Resort. Melody and I have done a video on that property as well as one of the other properties. You can check our YouTube channel for those videos. But nice to know 10 new properties uh, recently added. That is some improvement. The next place we're going to go to is in Wisconsin. Lake of the Woods Campground. Let's blow this lot out a little bit so we can get a better perspective of where it's located. Melody and I recently traveled through Wisconsin and during our 2021-2022 snowbird trip. We're still on that snowbird trip, but we did a review on Neshonic Lakeside Campground. It's the uh, westernmost Thousand Trails property in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, this is a trails collection property, and uh, this is the location of the new property that was just added. Lake of the Woods Campground. A little bit less impressed with that campground. Let me take you to one that is on our a list that we want to visit. And that's going to be out in California. Marina Dunes RV Park. Out in California. And take a look at this location. Right on Monterey Bay. And I'm talking right on Monterey Bay. This is an outstanding addition to the Thousand Trails Trails collection. Look at this. Marina Dunes RV Park. And there's the Pacific Ocean right there. And you have a preserve area right in here as well. So, wow, what what a wonderful addition to to the Thousand Trails Trails collection properties. Next, I'm going to take you. Where do we want to go next? Let's go to Arizona. We're on our way to the Mesa area. That's where this is located. Our favorite RV park, we've stayed in the Mesa area before with uh, Thousand Trails at their Trails Collection properties. And our favorite is Monta Vista RV Resort. They built a brand new facility. Melody and I are will be there soon. We'll be doing a video on that. But this new property is located just up the road, Meridian RV Resort. And as you can see, there are other RV resorts, and I've checked these other ones out. And uh, the best one in the area is Monta Vista. And the runner-up is Mesa Spirit, in our opinion. So, what else do we have on here? White Oak Shores in North Carolina. This is a little bit further inland. Here's the two previous properties that were new additions that I showed you. Uh, our favorite park in that area is Goose Creek RV and Camping Resort. We visited uh, those other existing resorts. We have not visited this one, White Oaks. Let's take a look at the satellite view. And not a bad looking campground. So Melody and I will definitely want to check out White Oak Shores in North Carolina. This is a, uh, a truly spectacular uh, coastline here. They call it the Emerald Coast. Uh, here's Emerald Isle. But uh, that was the main reason we went to Goose Creek. And we've done a video on Goose Creek. Um, but we're definitely going to check out White Oak Shores, another new 
Trails Collection property. And there you have it, folks. We've covered all 10 of the new additions to the Thousand Trails Trails Collection. The Trails Collection is an optional add-on that you can uh, add to a Thousand Trails Camping Pass or one of the higher levels of membership. It currently runs $330 for that add-on per year. If you're in an adventure member, you're eligible to um, uh, have the Trails Collection Plus, with, which allows you to go from park to park within the Trails Collection. It makes snowbirding uh, in Florida and Texas uh, possible, where you can bounce from Encore to Encore, uh, as long as they're part of the Trails Collection. And you can stay up to 21 days with the Trails Collection Plus. Uh, the Trails Collection Plus runs $630 per year if you're an adventure member. Our preferred membership specialists, the ones that we work with all the time, um, and they're a great resource for information, are Bob and Mari Bostick. And they are located in a state where you will not pay sales tax if you purchase a membership from them. I'll put their photo up and their contact information. If you're interested in a Thousand Trails membership or adding the Trails Collection or Trails Collection Plus to an existing membership, call Bob. Tell him Lou and Melody sent you. As always, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.